Welcome to Some Guy's Garage. We've got the new DCBL 777 60 volt blower from DeWalt. This is the brand new top model that they make. Um, it's 60 volts and has more airflow apparently and higher mile per hour or kilometers per hour if you're in Canada or the rest of the world for that matter. And it's supposed to be one of the best cordless blowers you can get right now. So new in box, haven't opened it up yet. I do have the Y1 kit rather than the B. So this one comes with the charger and a 12 amp hour 60 volt battery. I do have a bunch of nine amp hours and six amp hours, but this will be the biggest um, flex volt or 60 volt battery that I'll have. Um, as a kit, it's usually the way to get them right. Uh, if you try and buy these batteries separate, this battery in Canada anyway is usually about $300 but with the kit is only about an extra $180. So it makes it a fairly good deal to get the battery charger along with the bare tool in this case. So what we'll do today is open this up, check everything out, look at the features that it has, and then maybe I'll do a couple of measurements. I do have an anemometer and a decibel meter, so maybe we'll do a couple of quick measurements of the new blower. I also have the old, like this is the original 20 volt blower. This is the first one DeWalt came out with. Um, so this is getting on. There's a new 20 volt version out as well. The DCBL 777 is the replacement for the DCBL 772, um, which is the other 60 volt blower. So I have the oldest and lowest powered 20 volt blower and the newest and highest powered 60 volt blower to compare at least. But like I said, let's open this up first and see what's inside. All right, starting off, we do have the typical DeWalt manuals. Throw that to the side here. Um, and looks like in the top, we have a couple of the accessories. So this one comes with uh, a couple different nozzles. So there's a kind of a flat nozzle here. And let's see what else we got in here. There's the probably the main blower tube. Sorry, I guess before I get into there, I should pull this out of the plastic. This is the main blower body. So that's the actual blower itself. And then down in the box here, we've got more cardboard, of course. <laughs> but underneath that, we have the charger. So this is the DCB 1104, which is the new model. I believe this is a four amp charger. Yeah, so this is the newer model four amp charger. The DCB 115 would have been the older model. Um, these ones in particular have the two stage charging. So it has the two different lights, whereas the old DCB 115 only has the single light when it's charged. I also have the six amp hour or not six amp hour. I also have the six amp version of this charger. Um, kind of nice to see the two stages, but I have a full video on chargers. So check that out. I'll leave a link in the description or in the top corner there. And then looks like we have the giant battery pack in here. So that is the big 12 amp hour, um, 60 volt pack. And that's everything in the box. And so just while we're talking batteries, I grabbed a couple others. So I have a six amp hour here and a nine amp hour. Um, you can see that the 12 amp hour is actually the same physical size pack. So same height, same width, same dimensions. So in the 12 amp hours here, they must be using a higher capacity cell, but the same number of cells to get that extra capacity. Um, so that's kind of neat. It, Weight wise, they feel about the same. Let me get the scale and we'll see what one actually weighs more or less. Okay, got a scale here. Just let that fire up and calibrate. Uh, so we're on grams. The nine amp hour weighs 1,481 grams, 1,482 there. The 12 amp hour is exactly the same, 1,481. So somehow magic of chemistry, they've been able to squeeze another 30% uh, more capacity in physically the same size and weight. Interesting. And just while we have it here, the six amp hour weighs 10, 1077. The six amp hour weighs 1077 grams. All right, so I just put the 12 amp hour onto charge here, but let's take a look at the blower itself. Um, pretty similar form factor. So it's a blow through axial design. Um, your intakes here at the back and blows out the front. Uh, we can attach the nozzle. Um, there is the strap. So there is a shoulder strap that kind of links around here to hold it up. Um, and actually there is the other nozzle. So that's hidden inside there. Um, so there's this style nozzle as well as this style. So you get a couple different choices there. But let's get this hooked up onto here. You can see kind of where it slides and catches on the two sides. Um, Looks like, and yeah, there's the down. So it has it oriented here. Let's get that slid on. So that just... So 
sorry, that took a little bit of fiddling here. I did get it on. Um, there's the catches here and here. The one side wasn't going in. I actually had to release the other side and then kind of put it in a little more straight and then it has caught in there. So now we're hooked up there. Taking a look at the nozzles here, you can see there's also a catch on the bottom. So you're just able to slide this over top, roughly speaking there, wiggle it into place and that should clip in. There we go. And so that's how you attach the nozzles. Um, is tool free then, so you just pull and off comes the nozzle. Same with the other one here then. Just gotta kind of wiggle it and get it to latch over top there. Yep, so same idea there. Uh, a couple different shapes, I guess. Um, spreads out the air differently. We'll leave, actually we'll leave the nozzles off for the moment. And then just looking at the other features, so you have a trigger here with a lock. Um, I believe that's lock on, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you can lock it on if you want to leave it running. Um, and then there are some modes here up at the top and a battery level indicator that we'll look at once we plug a battery in. On the bottom, nice, uh, I guess a little bit of aluminum here, but some feet to rest it on. So when you set it down, you're not just setting it down on the body in you know, the grass or whatever. It sits on a nice stand that keeps it level and from rolling away. But all right, let's take a, I got the nine amp over here. We'll throw this on while we wait for that other battery to charge so we can play with some of the features. So it slides in at the back here. And yeah, when you give it a pull, it uh, wakes itself up there. You can see the battery level is full right now. And there's a few different modes. So I presumably that's high, that's eco, medium, high. Um, and easy enough to just cycle through the modes there. All right, so let's give this thing a try. I'm just going to uh, kind of aim it at the wall here. It's probably gonna make a big mess, but we're on eco right now. And we'll just pull the trigger and see what happens. Go figure, it blows. Let's turn it up to max as well. Yeah, not bad. Uh, sounds just an initial impressions, a little noisier. And on high, it's definitely noisier. I guess that first time when I cycled through, it didn't... Yeah, not quite too sure what happened that first time, but... Um... Yeah, certainly is blowing a lot of air, especially compared to my old 20 volt one. All right, set up to take some measurements here. Let's see how loud it actually is. I'm on the eco mode. I've got a decibel meter here, just my old Radio Shack one sitting off to the side. Um, might not be on the right range, but we'll start with this and just see what kind of sound level we have. So that was, uh, once I got it adjusted there, it's about 90 decibels at this range. So this is kind of probably ear distance away from the thing at a right angle. Um, so let's turn that up to medium now. So we're on the medium setting. And on medium, that was about 93 decibels. And so let's go up to the high setting now. And we've got high. And that was about 95 decibels. And that was on fast response C weighted. Fast response won't make a difference right now because it's constant noise. C weighted is full bandwidth. So um, less to do with the sensitivity of your ears, but more just the full overall sound level. Um, when DeWalt says these are 60 some decibels, that's probably from some sort of distance. Close up here, you're still in the 90 dB range. So it's right on the borderline where you might want hearing protection while using this you know, more than a few minutes exposure. You can look at the charts, but you're in that range where it can start to do damage um, if you're using this quite a bit during the day. And just while we're here, I've got the old 20 volt blower here and can do a quick comparison so you can see how much louder, if you have this model already, how much louder it would be. So this one only has a, well, it's a variable speed trigger, but you only have one setting. <laughs> And that was reading 93 dB. So given how much more the new blower puts out than this old one, it's actually not too bad. Um, 
comparable sound level, but you get a lot more air out of the 60 volt blower. And of course, the other thing you'd want to know is how much does it weigh? So this is with the nine amp hour battery. As we saw, it's about the same weight as the 12 amp hour, but it weighs 4,692 grams. I'll convert that to pounds on the screen here, but right around that 10 pound mark. Um, so heavy enough, but we'll put the other blower on and see what it weighs. And so with the old 20 volt blower with a five amp hour battery, we're at 3,117 grams, 3.1 kilograms. So it is a few pounds lighter than the newer blower, but that is to be expected with the bigger battery on this one and higher airflow and um, more capability. And last but not least, I do have an anemometer here. I have no idea what this thing is rated for, but we'll give it a shot, see what happens. I'll start on the eco mode here and go about a foot out from the nozzle and see what it reads. I, it might max out, but be interesting to see what it does. So you couldn't see the screen, but we got a reading of 105 kilometers an hour at that distance. Um, it's about 65 miles an hour, give or take. Not bad. Um, and that's on the eco mode. So let's just crank this thing up all the way to the max and see if we can break the anemometer here. Yeah, no dice. We'll not read that high. Um, so well beyond the capabilities of this anemometer, but definitely a lot of airspeed out of this thing when it's cranked up. And we'll just do that with the 20 volt blower and see where we get. And looks to be about 75 kilometers an hour. So even max output on this is way less than the uh, low eco output on the new blower. Anyway, first impressions on the new DCBL 777, it seems pretty good. Definitely a whole heck of a lot more airflow than my old 20 volt one, which is kind of the point. That's why I ended up picking this up. And it's not that much noisier or anything like that. So that seems like a win-win, more airflow and about the same noise. Uh, of course, the downside, these, these are fairly expensive comparatively. So the kit here in Canada with the 12 amp hour battery and charger, is about $500 right now. You can get the bare tool for about 320 um, and it's a little bit cheaper in the US, but still a fairly expensive blower. But with the capabilities you get from it, it seems like a uh, pretty good upgrade. Anyway, that's all for today. If you have any questions about the DCBL 777 60 volt brushless blower, let me know in the comments below. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider it. And as always, thanks for watching.